Hey guys, welcome back to another video. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Charlie Tyler. I'm a singer songwriter. Before we get into the video, I'd be so grateful if you guys could give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really means a lot to me as an independent artist. So in today's video, I kind of wanted to touch base on some of the truths and misconceptions of being a singer songwriter. So I feel like it kind of starts out with write a song and then you think you're going to be a star and quite frankly I guess this isn't exactly how it works. My little brain at 16 obviously thought that it did, um, <laughs> which is ridiculous looking back now. So when you first start to play you learn a few chords, write a song and when you finally produce a song that you think doesn't suck you play at your local pub amongst all the other covers that you play but because your fan base consists most probably of your parents, your best friend and your dog, the reviews are much better than you expect. Absolutely thrilled with the feedback, you instantly check what other current pop stars are doing and their public stories tell you that they started in a similar way. So suddenly you see the pathway to becoming a star is wide open, or at least that's what I thought. I think it's pretty natural for a 16 year old to be absolutely convinced that dreams can come true, particularly if at the beginning it seems everybody loves what you do. I still believe that reaching your goals is definitely possible. However, I just think in my experience, it requires a lot more than just believing it. Firstly, if you do some research, you won't find many successful artists and people saying that it was easy to get their first break. There's always a story behind their success, which somehow you need to recreate. And there are thousands of people trying to do the same thing as you. Some will be better looking, some will have wealthy parents, some might just seem to get all the lucky breaks. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because at some point you're going to need to convince somebody that you're the one that's worth investing in. My problem was that I didn't study how all the successful artists got to where they are. So my information was very coloured by my surroundings. I come from a very small village, so Whilst my dreams are absolutely huge, I didn't really have much of a perspective on the outside world. And quite frankly, I didn't even realise that the phrase singer-songwriter has such a different meaning to the music industry now. I had a vision of how I wanted my music to sound in my head, ideally working with maybe one other person with whom I could share and develop my ideas with over time. It was a shock to me to discover that most modern pop music is actually created by teams of people that work with many different acts. The artists nowadays nearly always work with the same teams of writers and producers, which kind of explains why a lot of the pop music you hear nowadays sounds very similar. I wanted to have a lot more influence than that on my music, and the concept of writing with total strangers and large teams of writers is just a completely bizarre concept for me. Very quickly, I began to understand that there are a lot of situations that have to align in order for you to make it as a professional musician. So I decided to kind of reset my objectives and try to grow the amount of people on my social media followings and increase engagement from there. However, the biggest thing that I've found is that social media will absolutely break you. There's no doubt that social media is an absolutely incredible tool and can really help you to raise your profile. However, there are a lot of things that you probably should know in order to save you a lot of time, stress, and just absolute heartache. I'm no expert and these are all learned activities, from the result of many attempts that I've made to get them to work for me. Firstly, it's a ton of work and it can drain both time and energy from the things that you actually really want to be doing. For me, I want to be the best performer and songwriter that I can be. However, keeping up with all of the social media platforms can really distract from you know both practicing and songwriting. A lot of musicians I know hate even going near the platforms, so be aware. The majority of the platforms don't make it that easy for you to promote and share your music. So I thought I would share with you a few examples of why. All of the platforms work completely differently. So therefore you need to create individual content for each platform. You have to post consistently, which is an absolute killer, especially like I said, when you're trying to practice and songwrite and do all of the other things that being a singer songwriter entails. New ideas are always needed. So therefore you generally end up spending the majority of your spare time creating posts and content for normally quite a little return at the beginning. I found that original music doesn't actually work that well as an attractive post and TikTok is very, very difficult to get going in the beginning. So I found myself doing a ton of covers and posting all the time in order just to get this platform started. In my experience, as soon as you post an original, the fall off in attention is absolutely massive, but 
it does get slightly better I guess with time. I would just say try not to get disheartened by the huge accounts you see where you can't really understand how the numbers have actually accumulated. The vast majority of users find it very difficult judging by the messages I've received about how to get it going. As another platform, I used Facebook a huge amount in the beginning and worked really, really hard, especially during the lockdowns to provide consistent live streams, consistent posting. So, I mean, the work I put into growing that following was quite big, but to find out that when you actually post on Facebook, the app doesn't actually share it to all of your followers was just a huge shock to me. And the thought of actually having to pay the app to share the content I'm creating with the people that I've accumulated over a period of time is just absolutely ludicrous. I understand that all of these apps are trying to get your money and get you to pay to promote your posts, but I think it's very unfair <laughs> when you build a following on a platform and then it literally just doesn't show it to all of your following. Instagram I found is an absolute nightmare to try to build organically as it's just so saturated and it's just so full of high quality celebrity content that as an independent artist you just absolutely can't provide and therefore you don't have the adequate content to boost it which is very difficult because you're constantly trying to figure out ways that you can generate organic following. Creating high standard and high quality content is generally very time consuming, can be very expensive, and as an independent artist, it's very difficult to provide the content to boost your platform. YouTube has been a reasonably new approach for me over the last few months, as initially I couldn't find the way to produce the content that I wanted to make and kind of give you guys the information and videos that I wanted to produce. But again, producing engaging content is very difficult and it's easy to be swamped by the competition. TikTok is the absolute bane of my life. Um, it was an absolute nightmare to try to grow in the beginning and I definitely found myself doing an excessive amount of covers, which is obviously completely away from the original artist that I want to be because it felt as though I wasn't showing you guys my authenticity right from the get-go. However, I know that TikTok is a very dangerous platform and a lot of artists have broken from it and have generated huge followings, which I have found boost all of the other platforms as it seems as though there's a much more engaged following on TikTok. So it is also a very new platform for me, so I should probably reserve judgment on that until I've been on the platform for a few months. In general, all the platforms want you to pay for promotion and advertising. So without the funds to do it, only content with organic growth will really help you. The final lie of launching your music career is you'll make loads of money. To put it blankly, you won't. When I started, I had to play so many gigs for free as I wouldn't have got the opportunities otherwise. But I think this was great preparation for what's followed. Income is very tough to come by from your musical activities when there are so many overheads to cover every single day. I mean, I personally still have to work night shifts at a supermarket to allow my work to continue. I believe that what I have learned has really helped me enormously, but there have been moments, particularly at the end of 2020, where I thought I would have to stop as a result of feeling like I was getting nowhere. Since then, everything has changed for me. I think as a result of the work I put in, I am now beginning a new stage in my career. Having achieved what I wanted in establishing the beginnings of my sound and what I want to be as an artist. I really think that being true to your main goals and aims is really the only thing that can get you through and you just have to keep focused on what you want and learn from any mistakes that you may make. There are so many things in your way, so your art and what you have to say is your only real refuge. Thank you so much for watching and whatever venture you're involved with, in whatever field, I wish you all the success. Um, you can watch my previous video on five things you should know about becoming a singer-songwriter. The link is in the description. Please like, comment, subscribe and share with all your friends and I'll see you in the next video.